it's Lucy. This time last year, in the last year of my PhD, I had it all figured out. I just found out I'd got a job. I just found out I got time on the mass spectrometer to analyze the last of my samples. I just told my employer I would have my thesis done by X date and then I would be ready to join them. Then this happened. The months went by. The thesis went by too. The void where those last results were meant to go became perfectly encircled in written text and remained very much a void. And up came my start date with my employer. They were wonderfully understanding and wonderfully flexible and I know I could have asked for longer, but I was of the mind that they hired me on the pretext I would start then, and I didn't want to disappoint the company that I want to be with for a long time. And so my thoughts were, I'll kind of suffer for a couple of months and do both at the same time. So that is what I did, and it pretty much meant I was working two jobs simultaneously. And it is not something to undertake lightly. What made the transition easy, or as easy as I could have hoped for, was starting part-time. If you find yourself in this situation, definitely broach this. If I remember right, my company were actually the ones to suggest it to help me out. And what this meant was that I got the bulk of what I wanted to have written finished by the time it came to going full-time at a prearranged date. It still meant I was working flat out. I treated this job and the thesis much like I did working in college and then working at Pizza Hut at the weekends. I'd study for five days, work for two. In this case, I would work for three days and then thesis for four. Sounds relentless, sounds tough, but it's got to be done. Just get it done, get it done. The ratio then shifted when I went full time and suddenly it was only two days to work on the thesis, which was just not enough when I just wanted to be done with this thing so that I could move on with my new job and this new phase of my life. What do you do when you don't have enough time? You make time. And this was when I started writing my thesis at five in the morning. I've been getting up at five for years now, but always to do fun things like read books or write novels. Rolling out of bed to analyze the curve of a graph, it's not good. And then I stopped because I submitted. I got it done. I finished my thesis while working full time over an unintended period of time. And what it taught me is that it can be done. A couple of things I think are really important to know if you do this. First, keep the momentum going. Write every day, write pretty much every day. I was about to say, oh, don't write if you're on holiday, but I really don't think this is the time for holidays. This is a time critical situation. And as soon as you get it done, you get to move on with your new life. Next, don't let your new job suffer. These are people you want to make glad they chose you. These are tasks you want to perform to the best of your ability. It's a cliche, but start as you mean to go on. So don't let your future self suffer by not giving this your all. But equally, don't let your PhD suffer. It's the final step now. You've been at it for this long. Don't let your past self down by rushing to get it done when you owe it to yourself to make this thesis as brilliant as all the research and all the time that you've poured into it. Your past and present selves are both depending on you, present you, to make them proud. Starting a job before you've finished your thesis will make this one of the hardest parts of your PhD. So you really need to ask yourself, is this job worth it? Is this the kind of job you can see yourself doing or that you want? Or is it more of a, it pays well, jobs are scarce right now, I better take what I can get kind of job. If it's the latter, I'd think twice. The overlap of one life section ending and another beginning was one of the hardest parts of my PhD. But it was worth it because I love this job. I was right to hold on to this job and I'm really glad I did. But it's extremely difficult and I think it is to be avoided unless absolutely necessary. One last thing to say if you do find yourself in this situation, it is a sign of something good. You're not facing the prospect of unemployment after your PhD, you're on the ball, you're already well underway with the next milestone in your life. Pat yourself on the back. You've got a job. Nice one. Thank you for watching. And if you're coming towards the end of your PhD and thinking about the next steps, I'll put a link in the box thing below to my playlist of post PhD careers -y stuff. My name is Lucy Kizik. I'm a PhD student at the University of Oxford and I'm a chemist in the nuclear industry. And take care.